He didn't look at me. He didn't raise his head. He was looking at the ground the entire time. This woman who we'll call Susan is still traumatized by what happened, so she asked to hide her identity. But Susan does want to share her story about the time she ran over and killed a pedestrian driving home from work off Happy Valley Road and 16th Avenue in Phoenix back in February. All I remember is jerking the wheel. I don't remember if I slammed on the brakes. And if I hadn't have swerved, he would have come in through the windshield and hit me and possibly killed me. For months, Susan felt incredible guilt learning about the victim and thinking if there was something she could have done to avoid the collision. Things changed, however, when a Phoenix police detective told Susan that the victim had posted suicidal statements on his Facebook page. Susan is convinced the young man wanted her to run him over. With me being the only car on the road, the only headlights, he purposely walked out in front of my car. I did not do anything wrong. I wasn't speeding. I wasn't impaired. I wasn't on my phone. If he was really set on committing suicide, he didn't need to walk in front of a car. Susan tells us her feelings of grief and guilt turned to anger, knowing that someone would put her life at risk to end their own. She's also done some research and found there are more pedestrian deaths in Arizona than anywhere else in the country. Susan believes that some of those pedestrian deaths may have also been suicide by car. I think it's a lot more common than we think. Yeah. I think statistically there's a lot more suicides by car than what's out there. The, the driver is always put to blame, and I don't think that's right. 